morning students i welcome you for the uh, today's introduction session on high voltage engineering so today we are going to briefly discuss about the topics what we are going to discuss in this subject so here we can see uh, what is high voltage so in this subject we are going to study what is high voltage why it is needed what are the different levels of voltages and what do we learn in high voltage engineering so what are the applications of high voltage and electrical insulation and dielectrics so first coming to what is high voltage so giving an example any voltage beyond a reference voltage is called as a high voltage for example if you assume uh, a device can operate only at 4 voltage suppose if you are applying a voltage beyond that like 12 volt then this 12 volt will be a high voltage for a 4 volt device in the same way in this subject there are different ranges of high voltages like 11 kv 33 kv 66 kv and 230 kv so these are the voltage ranges of high voltage next we are going to just classify based on the ranges as high voltage low voltage very high voltage and extra high voltage so if the voltage is below 11 kv then it is called as low voltage if the range is between 11 kv to 100 kv then it is called as high voltage and if the range is 100 kv to 400 kv then it is called as very high voltage and if the voltage range is 400 kv to 800 kv then it is called as extra high voltage and any voltage beyond 800 kv are called as ultra high voltages why high voltages needed the primary reason that the power is transmitted at high voltages to increase the efficiency the main intention is to increase the efficiency so the electricity is to be transmitted over long distances so there we can observe the energy losses so in order to overcome this we are going to use high voltage transmission which minimizes the amount of power loss and the electricity which flows from the far location to the other location where we require so what do we learn in high voltage engineering so this is very very important so here we are going to test hv equipments like power transformer bushing circuit breakers insulators cables etc so there are different tests which we are going to conduct so that we are going to study and what are the tests that are going to um, that will be done based on the operating voltage the voltage what we are going to apply it should be above the operating voltage of the machine next we are going to study how to generate high voltage measurement and control of different types of high voltages and what are the failure mechanisms for the high voltage means what are the different tests that are conducted to test the hv equipments and what are what are the breakdown mechanisms for the different insulating materials like solid and liquid dielectrics so next is the application of high voltage engineering so here this is used in air pollution control equipment so advanced electrical discharge techniques for cleaning exhausts of thermal power plants and automobiles it is also called as electrostatic precipitators and simulation of plasma induced processes and high voltage or current pulse generators and probes for various industrial applications and these are some of the application that is the devices that are used for high voltage using high voltage and this is the electrostatic precipitator which is used in the factories or industries next is the last one is the electrical insulation and dielectric the material which stores the electrical energy in an electrical field is known as the dielectric material it means dielectric material means it is nothing but the material which allows the current to flow it means it becomes polarized in the presence of electric field whereas insulation means which blocks the flow of electrons or the flow of current and they do not get polarized so mainly you will be studying about the insulation and the dielectric materials in this subject 